In this video, I'm gonna talk about heat pumps. Heat pumps are the way of the future. One day, natural gas furnaces will be illegal, and this is what's gonna heat everyone's home. So it's very important that we develop components that will accept these and move towards this in our container modifications, because this is the sustainable way of the future. In this video, I'm gonna go over everything we've done here and how we make installing heat pumps simple for shipping containers. Stay tuned. We love the heat pump mini split AC units. And in this instance, these containers, we had to cut them in half and send them underground. And so the condenser, the exterior condenser could not sit outside of the container because it doesn't fit down the shaft. And so we made this recessed box to allow it to be, take up some of the interior envelope and then give ourselves a nice workbench on top. So I wanna bring you over here and give you a little tour of what we've done here. We've got two of them and they're at different stages. So if we look inside here, we actually developed a frame very similar to our window frame that mounts on the outside of the container and then it has a box. And so now this pan right here, it's sloped inwards to deflect the air to go into the back of the condenser. But uh, this is basically our exterior of the shipping container and then we're able to insulate all inside and spray foam on top of this. And basically, yeah, it's a recession plate one thing in this is we didn't remove the wood floor underneath on the outside, but if this was going to be heating instead of cooling, then the condensation is going to happen on the exterior condenser. And in that instance, we hypothesized that if we remove the wood flooring and put a, uh, a inch and an eighth bar grating there in its place, then all the condensate would drip down and through and underneath the container. If you're doing that, I think you'd probably want to block up your can, have a lot of room under there, especially uh, as the icicle builds up, uh, so you can chip that away. It is a bit of a maintenance item, kind of maybe similar to like changing your furnace filter. When you're running these heat pumps, they will uh, collect condensate. Will, can you tell me how these things went together and what did you have to do? It was a bit of a work at the start, but how was our first go at it? Yeah, it was a learning process for sure. First I had to Put the frame in around the outside of the container just to get the location for the inner box or the depth anyway then once you put the inner box in kind of make sure it fits in between the frame and then you put the outside around it square it off put it against the strut here then you take or fasten the box to the side walls and then that would be right here with that self-tapper. Yeah. And you didn't have this top plate on right no, away, right? No, that was on last, it's the last thing you do. And you also stuffed insulation in, there's two inches here and four inches there, so we were able to put rigid in there because that'd be very difficult to spray foam. And then we'll, able, uh, we'll be able to just spray foam the top half and I guess the heat is gonna rise, so that having that spray foam will be nice. And that'll actually come, what, right inside the header and then all the way up the walls. You are gonna have a strut going across and everything. I guess we can look right here, see how you kind of have it finished, but and we'll push that, we'll push that on to and show. But yeah, this is how the reline is gonna come up and be able to finish nicely. And all the spray foam comes around all of this and makes a perfect envelope. So that's really nice how you did that. Oh, not quite bolted up yet, but uh, let's throw, can we even just throw this one where we're standing? So here we have, we have a bit of a, a hidden fastener profile. So we've developed this and then it's upside down here, but this just slides right in. So it's pretty cool. We don't have to really do anything. You just, have you tried this yet? Yeah. No. You're supposed to say, no, that's our first time trying and it worked out perfect. But, yeah. but this is our first time doing this um, ever. And so now we've got ourselves a nice little workbench here. Uh, typically, if you had something like this, you'd have doors that open, and so we for, forgo those. But uh, yeah, we have a recessed condenser box for air conditioning containers. So this really conceals your air conditioner and um, you know keeps it out of the way of harm. And so it's a it's an interesting design and something we'll continue to work on uh, and keep you guys in touch as it progresses. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited to 
show you guys the preliminary version of this and thank you will for showing them how it was built came out lovely on the first crack i just want to talk about how we how we ran everything so the head units the lines go in on the other side of the exterior condenser but we came out this side and then went all the way down and through this condenser box right here and that allows when that condenser slides out there's it's not a lot of stress on those copper lines and it allows them to flex and it could go in and out in and out in and out many many times and not you know be any worse for wear so another thing that's really cool about these interior units they are smart we do get the arctic heat pump so they're rated for a lot colder temperatures especially up here in canada they come with a remote and this remote and it has a, a smart USB inside of there, but you can buy, it's a My, MISA thermostat, M-Y-S-A, MISA thermostat, it's a smart thermostat, they're really cool, and you just pair your remote with that smart thermostat, and now if you have a Wi-Fi connection, you can control from your phone, set all these smart parameters for your heat pumps, and so that's, that's key, then you're telling Google or Alexa to run your heat pump, so if you're, if you're looking to use one of these in your home, uh, it's totally the way to go is to connect it to a smart thermostat and they're not that expensive 100 150 bucks or something So yeah, check that out. This is how it looks on the inside We're and this is that that uh, that um, Workbench that we're talking about once it's all finished up. So this is awesome. Obviously you sacrifice drawers or uh, doors but you have yourself a work plane here and then potentially just right above this crosswise strut channel we could mount a window and people can work on the other side such as this case there's still plenty of room to wheel your your chair around uh, you can put a mini fridge in between you could, you could do whatever place for your printer something in your office so it's a really cool um, setup and we did notice now if we can pull that condenser box out uh, from the outside while it's being utilized then we can actually shrink this up so this is sticking in 24 inches into your your uh, container but we could go down to 20 at least and just match you know our shelving or, or whatever so really cool stuff uh, we learned a lot here we had to do it for the first time we didn't know how we we're gonna run the line set we didn't we've never mounted the head unit to a strut lined reline finished container before so we've done a lot of new things here and I'm really excited about that now we can take what we've learned take it back to the drawing board to our 3d models uh, optimize everything and really just prove this concept and, and hopefully commercialize it so it's available for you guys to purchase but a little bit of ways to go here but yeah let's jump back outside and see that condenser unit so to start it takes a couple trades to install heat pumps we have our electricians and the plumbers and the reason you need the plumbers because you have to hook up your line set from the exterior condenser unit to the interior condenser unit so what these things do these heat pumps is instead of producing heat, so just burning wattage and making heat, they actually just take the heat that's outside and move it to the inside. And they'll do the same thing with cold. They'll grab cold in the outside air and move it to the inside. So they work just like your fridge. You know, heat pumps have been around for a long time, but we're really working towards the technology nowadays for um, heating homes and things. And, and it's becoming really popular. It's very popular in Europe and in, and in Asia and you know, everyone's pushing people. <laughs> There's a cat. <laughs> the government is really pushing people to go to heat pumps in their homes. And you might think, oh, it can't be that efficient. Why is there two of them on this container? And this is a special container. These, these units here, it's a container that we're shipping underground to a potash mine. So it's going a kilometer underground, the temperature, is a consistent 30 degrees above, and we do not need two of these to air condition a 20 foot container. The reason why they went with two is just for redundancy. So if one does break down, they can just utilize the other one until their underground plumber can, can fix the other one. So just, they're going for no downtime. It's not that, yeah, two of these are required. So don't think that, that you need to purchase two of these, but yes, you do need your electrician and your plumber. You'll have to vacuum out all of the uh, air out of the line set and then release the refrigerant. They do come preloaded with the refrigerant. It takes about, you know, a day with your trades and it's all said and done. So probably double the cost of the, of the actual unit to purchase in labor and then she's, she's installed. But there's a lot, even on Amazon, if you look on Amazon in Canada, there's lots of these Senville units. They're great units. 
They're all, you know, ETL, Intertech approved, and uh, and they're relatively low cost. You know, I, I hate talking about pricing, but anywhere from you know 1,200 bucks to, to three grand on huge ones, you can get these. And they can also go one condenser unit outside and then multiple units inside. And so what we've done that's really cool by accident is we've made a uh, track system so that the plumber, if they need to work on this thing or clean it, um, they can actually just undo a couple bolts and slide this out and then get at it. Because this is air conditioning only and not heating, the exterior condenser will never condensate. It's always the interior head unit that's producing the condensate. And so all of the water will be draining out of here. If this was in our northern climate, it's probably going to be heating more than air conditioning. And then this thing will condensate. And to battle that by accident coming up with this track system, potentially if we do this on rental units, we can uh, set this up so that the driver, once he delivers a 20 foot rental container, he can unbolt this, slide it out, potentially pin it, and then uh, have it sticking out for the duration of the rental. Then before we load it up for transportation widths, tuck it back in. These also can be installed on the end walls of containers and they utilize this container modification world frame. Another way to battle the condensation on the exterior condenser is we could remove the wood floor of the shipping container and install bar grating in its place. So that's gonna allow more airflow through here and the condensate to drip and drain any ever out of here. But one thing that really, really surprised me is I have these installed at my cabin and I have them installed at our new building and they ran all winter heating our new building, which has surprised everybody. Uh, but there was an icicle like 20 feet high. So they're mounted really high. I guess it wouldn't be 20 feet, but 12 feet. And then icicle all the way down. I might have some photos on my phone of it. I'll try to share them with the film crew and, and show you guys. But it is insane how much condensate these things make. Another interesting note, and I don't know if anybody watching this understands why, is the condensate seems porous. Like th there's an ice hill there, but when you take a pickaxe or something and you try to chip away at it, it's like aerated ice and it's not as dense and heavy as you'd expect it to be like a normal cube of ice. So not sure why that happens, whether it's like pure water coming out of there or what, or, but it's, it's, it's easier to clear out. And so there's a maintenance item in, in the, the northern climates of clearing away the ice so that this thing doesn't just turn into a huge icicle and then no longer work to producing heat. But in northern climates, you know, they only work to about, they say some of them minus 28 or something Celsius, which is, is insane. But um, you do kind of want some sort of auxiliary heat. Like for your house, if you have a wood fireplace, that's awesome. Uh, or just keeping your furnace, but using this. Where these things really shine is that 10 degrees Celsius to minus 18 degrees Celsius. Uh, instead of using traditional air conditioning or uh, burning natural gas to produce heat in those instances, heat pumps are the clear winner there for efficiency, even if natural gas is way more, uh, way cheaper than, than electricity. And, and that's gonna change right away with carbon tax in Canada anyway. Um, natural gas is, it's gonna get expensive. It's gonna go up every year more than uh, electricity. And it's just every year, these are gonna become uh, cheaper and cheaper and cheaper to operate because of what you're uh, benchmarking against, which is, uh, I guess, fossil fuels. So we love them. We developed this kit for them. What's cool about this kit is it insets inside the container. It's kind of like a, a window frame kit. Pretty cool stuff. Really excited to show this off and see how well they turned out. If any of you have any insight on drawer slides or something that's real heavy duty that can handle the weight of the condenser and slide outwards and then lock in a outward position and an inward position, please comment down below in this video or send us an email video at the container guy.ca. I'd love to know a type of drawer slide that will work for this scenario that I don't have to develop on my own. So audience, please help me out, help us in our development here. Uh, other than that, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, check us out at tcg.ca. Hope you learned something.